What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is episode 10 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are enjoying the series, feel free to check out some of the older videos, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing. So to hop into episode 10, we're just taking a look at our commuter rail line running up here in the north between Wadhurst and Yeovil. This line is running pretty well. We've actually got a ton of bus traffic up here, moving people uh, in back into Yeovil from the rail and moving people down to the rail. So this is really good. So let's just talk about kind of what we wanted to do in today's episode. We want to continue moving our commuter rail down to connect into Market Bosworth, Droitwich, and then hopefully over to Bodman. I was hoping to put in another passenger airline. You can see that we're starting to get better traffic on some of these planes. If I can just go ahead and find one. They're at. So we got two here, two here. I mean, it's nothing, you know, it's nothing too stellar, but it is starting to pick up six on this one. That's good. I think increasing the frequency on that line really did better. Um, and we're making so much money that I just kind of want to put another one in because I think it would be fun. So I was thinking a good place for one would be right here um, between South Hall, Colchester, and Lowe. I think we could uh, set up some bus routes in between here, maybe even a, a little commuter train route. I don't think we need quite that much capacity um, this early on, but that could be a good little uh, a good little setup. Let's see how these ships are doing. Bring an eight, 17. I mean, it's not great, but uh, I think we could do with spreading these out a little bit. So I'll just stop that one for now, just to spread these ships out a little bit. These ones are also pretty spaced out. So I might stop that one for a little bit. Hopefully I remember to come back and uh, you know, start those back up. Yeah, he's stopping. Just takes him a while. But anyway, I think a uh, you know an airfield in here to move passengers around, that would be pretty good. These cities are not particularly well served with... Uh, actually, they're... South Hall is the only one that has public transit and it's going just down to Watford. So I think having a you know a little airfield in here would be nice, especially when we connect this in uh, with a commuter line down the road. And then also we wanted to take a look at some of these cargo routes because I've noticed that some of them are struggling a little bit to move enough product. So this oil refinery is, it keeps getting starved of fuel um, of refined oil or crude oil that is um and i think a lot of the reason for that is these trains that we have on this this oil line are just not cutting it anymore so if we go in here and we go to replace these still no diesel but we can get some rail on here i think right now they have the br75s um so if we replace those with maybe a35s and then just got maximum cargo capacity on here maximum length so we can go up to 240 meters so i'll just do that for now just to improve that line improve the capacity on it and hopefully move a bit more fuel so why don't we go into two times speed this truck route is pretty much doing the best it can we've pretty much got trucks coming in here one after another and again, if we go into the trucks, we really don't have a great alternative um, to replace these with. So this has 13 capacity, this has 14. This has five times loading speed compared to three. So, you know, I'm just, I'm not sure um, if upgrading those trucks is really you know, gonna make or break it for us. One thing that we could do is, is upgrade this to a bit higher speed road and see if that um, helps the movement at all. It, it'll definitely help down the line when we get faster trucks. Um, I don't quite know. So these have a top speed of 37. This road is a top speed of 50. I don't remember what the top speed of the dirt road was, but that might help a little bit. I think upgrading those trains will certainly because these guys are now going to have maxed out capacity. The uh, the A35s should work, you know, as well as they can. 
We'll just see, is this guy bringing... Yeah, he's bringing maximum capacity of oil down. This is also getting starved, so... You know, getting these to kick off a little bit better. Let's look at this passenger line while we're down here. So it's got 32 capacity. That's still doing okay, but I think that this still has the G3s on it. Let's see. Can tell me what this train is? I'm pretty sure that's a G3. Yeah, it is. So why don't we go ahead and replace these as well with some better trains. Flying Scotsman, probably overkill. So we'll go with uh, the BR-75s. Although we do have the 75 mile an hour... We do have the 75 mile an hour passenger cars. And the BR-75 only goes 56. So we could do Flying Scotsman. Let's try Flying Scotsman and, and see how we do. So maybe... Maybe three. I want to replace all of these. So maybe... Uh, Maybe three of these cars would be good. Just so that we can get that higher speed on this line. Because this is a pretty long stretch right here. Um, up to Bradley Stoke. And then this is a pretty decent stretch here over to Bodman. Not, not huge, but not terrible either. So, back to what we wanted to do. Commuter rail. So we want to get commuter rail down here to Market Bosworth so we can get rid of this bus line. And then we want to get some commuter rail over here to Droitwich. I've been wondering how to do this, where the station could go. Because if we put it here, generally perpendicular, it'll make connecting Droitwich, Market Bosworth, and Bodman really simple. But then this will have to be a really sharp curve in. Um, and vice versa, if we make it easy, you know, we could put it over here, and then it would be pretty easy for those to connect, and I guess it would, it would be pretty simple for that to connect as well. So, let's see if we can figure something out here. So if we go into our rail buildings and we get a 240 meter, is two platforms going to be enough? I probably want... Let's say we do four. And if we just look at our terrain here. You know, maybe if I put it in like somewhere, maybe here. How does that line up? So that can curve up into there. It can go out and around the stone, the, uh, Construction materials plant, new vehicle. I think that's a tram. And then this can also come down here. Could maybe even come around and loop in so that we use the same station. But for now, let's focus on these two connections. So if we put that there, and now I want to come in and just smooth out a little area right in front of here for a good road. If we put a road in like that and get some bus lanes on it. And then maybe this road we will upgrade with bus lanes. And then we could probably... See, Market Bosworth has developed in a very interesting way. I mean, maybe this would be our best loop, but then that cuts this off. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what would be a good... So if I run this down like this, maybe carry that on a little bit. Try to get it nice and straight. And then if we connect over... There's a collision with something. It says it's colliding with that. That's kind of bizarre. So if I just go ahead and delete that really quick, update that, and then put this back in. It's kind of funny that that was colliding from all the way over there. But we'll just go ahead and put that back in. And now if I run down this road, and then I'll probably just use a lot of eminent domain and 
punch right through like that. And I, I actually didn't even need to punch through here. So I'll just go ahead and downgrade that to a side street. And then this will be our, our loop for our buses. Oh, and I need to connect that up into here. So if I... Let's see, how do I want to connect this in? So if I just connect in like that... Maybe? I don't know, I could see this turning into a very uh, congested intersection right here. And then maybe if I also make, if I carry this through... I can connect this in. What does the slope look like on that? That is really steep because it's going up and over this hill. So I'll just do a, a bit of uh, landscaping here. I'll go out at roughly a 90 and then curve this in like that and then we'll just smooth this out a little bit so now we've got a decent loop here so if i put in some bus stops maybe one there right at this crossing one here I have a waypoint there, which is kind of interfering. Let's see, if I put it, so we get catchment to here, if I go here and then opposite one another, so that means I'll need one here, running back down this road, maybe there, and then maybe one there. Um, it's entirely possible that I put these bus stops too close together um, as far as like the actual catchment area of the bus is concerned, but I just think it's a bit more realistic to have, you know, bus stops that are a little bit closer together. So now this will be a bus route for Market Bosworth um, bus to train. Now, if we go ahead and get some buses on this, passenger, I'll, I'll use the uh, the new buses. I really want the capacity, though, of the older buses. These are much faster, though. Maybe six of them, just because this is a pretty long line. We'll give it a high capacity. We went with this teal color. We'll get those on. Now... I'm not going to go ahead and fix this bus route. I'll just let it drop off where it's dropping off for now. Um, just because... I mean, I guess I could change it. So instead of Grove... Instead of Grove, we'll have it hit that stop so it switches. And then where did I have the waypoint that this was using? So after park, I think we were having it hit this one. I actually don't remember. I'm just going to leave that for now. It's fine. They'll turn around in the street. Um... And the, the only reason I did that is just because I'm going to be replacing it with this this rail this rail route anyway. So now we're going to want a track. And I'm thinking I'll use this outside track and come up here. So we're immediately going to punch through. Let's try and maintain as much speed as we can. And then I'll probably curve it in. What would it want to do if I brought it all the way up here? Where's the collision? So I think it's saying that we're going to collide right here. 
and that is that is fair. So why don't I take this to about here? And that's where it's going to go. Now, do I want to preserve this waterway? Probably, if I can. So, how high? It's We can't actually preserve this waterway with the way that this is being built right now. So, how far out would I have to pull this track to actually preserve that waterway? If I pulled it back to here... That would preserve the waterway. It's a pretty big bridge. It's not bad though. I think we can clean that up with uh, some landscaping. And now we'll just bring it back through this tunnel. Connect it in, and now I'll go ahead and put a uh, put a cross in here. And now we'll signal up to this stop. That's going to be good for the cross. Just make sure that that double signal that did. And now we need to put in a little cross right here, and we'll need to get a line established. New line. And this will be a rail line from Market Bosworth to Hornsey. And now we can go ahead and delete, let's see, bus route, Market Bosworth to Hornsey. We can sell all these vehicles and delete that route altogether. Um, and now we need to figure out how to get some trains onto this line. And maybe if I put a... If I put a parallel track there. And then merge it in. going to fit here. It's not going to fit because of the water. So what if I put it in maybe up here by this road? So if I just leveled out a little pad like right here. This is doing this. Oh, it's because I'm on a shipping. Uh, so now if I kind of tuck this in, like, right here. If I get a track. Too much curve. just trying to fit this in so that it looks uh, you know halfway decent and now we need some signals in here so I'll just do a signal before and after great and now we'll just go back in and smooth this out and actually I can probably smooth out this whole area now that this track is in And now we can go ahead and get a couple trains. I think 
we went with like that darkest green. And we'll get, you know, a train going on this line to move people in between. And now we're gonna wanna get a line going out here. So this could probably be a terminus station. And just now that I'm looking at this, so if I want bus lanes and I want it to be straight, what roads do we want to use? Probably this road, maybe this one. It's kind of close together, but I think it will have good coverage. So if I just push that all the way through, connect in there. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, I actually will, I'll probably just run it out to here. So I can go ahead and make this just a side street again. And I'll probably just put in a terminus passenger rail station with two stations. Like right there. want to move it as close to this crossing as I can so maybe right there and now I need to actually reconnect reconnect that road and now we can go ahead and let it play so now we're gonna to want to bring a rail line right here so if we grab our rail and do I want to loop up and then come in? Maybe, just because of the way that this is oriented. So if I bring this Just trying to think, do I want to go to the inside or the outside of this? If I go to the inside That's not bad, we'll have an accurate crossing here, which I don't love. I don't want to bridge it. I really, I don't think we can tunnel it. I mean, we could, not the end of the world. I mean, if I take it like that, we're still maintaining pretty good speed. So if I bring that out to there, and then if we pause it real quick, Clean this up a little bit. And now if I grab a road, connect it all the way in there. I guess I should actually probably connect it. What if I connected it in here? Yeah, it doesn't like that at all. So what if I tried to sink it? We would have a tunnel right there. I brought it a little bit lower. And now just holding shift and M to walk this tunnel back as far as I can go. I don't mind that, that's not awful. Smooth this out a little bit. So now the question is, just a chunk of road. So now the question is, how do we connect this industry in here? I could, I could just tee into that tunnel underground, but that is a horrible intersection. Um, you know, I, I could bridge it over. ridiculously steep bridge I could tunnel it under that's not awful but then it's putting it onto a road that I don't necessarily want it to be on 
um, you know, I would love it to be using an industry road. So maybe I'll branch it onto here and just have it punch right through the city. Getting a little off track here, but I'm just trying to figure out what, what a good connection would be. So if I do that, and I come back here and just delete this entirely. There's a vehicle on it. Perfect. You know, if I walk this all the way back, just that I can get a nice high speed road that's generally smooth. And by smooth, I mean not ridiculously curved. So let's see where I want to go. I want to go onto there. All right, so now we're hooked in there. Let's upgrade this. So now we're hooked into there. And now we need to figure out how we want to get this over here. So if I put a straight road here, tunnel it, just make the tunnel as gentle as I can, and now I curve that in. Now I hook this up. That will work. So now we can run it again. Flatten all this out. Smooth all that out. It bunched up all of our vehicles just because I was deleting so many roads. Um, but that's okay. I might just clean this up a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. It's not bad. I'm getting way too like particular with how I want this to look. All right, I'm done with that. That is fine. That will function. And now we need to bring this rail in here. So if we grab this track, Bring it over and hook it in. We're gonna have a little tunnel there, an accurate crossing, that's okay. Punch right into there. We're gonna need a cross here. We will need a cross here. And then we would need to signal this line, auto signal. All right. And now we need to figure out how to get some trains on this line. Uh, while we're at it, I'm going to add another train onto this line. And now we need to figure out how we're going to get trains onto here. I think we have a, a really easy way to do it. We can spin this around, hug it in there, and now just get a track running. Parallel for a little bit, hooking it in there, and then merging it in there, and then we'll just need a quick signal before and signal after. And now we need to establish the line. We'll keep the yellow that we were using for this bus, and we will rename this rail line from market to Droitwich. And now if we come into this line, sell all these vehicles and then get rid of that. 
And now we will go ahead and get a train onto this line. Cool. And now let's go ahead. These are pretty well spaced out, so we'll get another train onto this line. So we'll have three of them on there for now. Um, we're starting to get, you know, a pretty good number of passengers on that Market Bosworth to Hornsey route. Uh, Hornsey to Hayward is doing pretty good. And then Hayward up to Wadhurst has a boatload of passengers on it. No one wanting to go up to Yeovil right now, but we have a lot of we have a lot of trains on this line. So it is moving people pretty well. Let's see, how is this line doing? I'm gonna swap these out with the, the faster buses just to uh, get some passengers to move a little bit better. This one honestly might be, it might be useful to put a tram on here. Pretty good passenger numbers, oh, 79, whoa. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get a tram on there real quick. So if we wanna put in a tram depot, it should be on, so if I put it maybe, let's see, can I save that building? Put it there. And now I'll just go in here and upgrade all of this with tram roads. just so that we can get a nice tram line running on here. Because 79 passengers, holy cow. So now if we go into here, I'm gonna train, change this to a tram. And it's going to be the Yeovil tram to train. And now we will swap these out. Uh, oh, so the way that I'm gonna have to do this is sell these, come into the tram depot buy maybe five trams, six trams, just so that there's good frequency on the line. And now it's a yellow. We'll put these on this line and, and you'll see these come out and they'll split. They'll go, you know, all different ways to, to spread out onto this line. And the trams will do a turnaround in the middle of the street once they kind of get to where they're going, which I find funny because there's no tram tracks. Um, you know, running in the middle of the street. So how they do that little middle of the street switch, I find interesting. But anyway, that should start moving these passengers a lot better um, than what was what was doing it before. And you see this guy just blew through because he's going he's going to his starting point on the line. Okay, so now we've got two of these set up. And this, we can get another train on here. You should start seeing some passengers. Let's see, did this guy get anybody? None. Uh, the routing probably just hasn't changed yet to where they know where to go. And now there should be no more inner city bus routes coming into Hornsey. And that's correct, because this is just now our um, route up to the airport. Approved, uh, Two people here. waiting, three on that plane. It's starting to do okay. It, it'll get there. Uh, we're we're going to totally blow it up by going out and uh, putting on a whole nother plane line. Uh, this is starting to work a lot better uh, with these trains on here. This guy is not moving a full load of refined oil. That's okay. Um, he is bringing back a good amount of oil, though, for this delivery into Northam. So what do we have next? Uh, the passenger airline that we want to put in. So I'm thinking we're going to use this station, this uh, airfield again. So it's going to, we're not going to have an airline running from Hayward's Heath right over here. I mean, maybe? Probably not. It's probably not necessary. But one thing that we do have to look at is the terrain. We've got a little hill here that we're going to have to flatten. And this is going to be super expensive. 
I don't know how much this is going to cost, but my guess is a lot. So that was a hundred million right there. Yikes. Just erasing all of our money. But it's the best place for, a, uh, for an airfield, so we're going to deal with it. So let's speed this up a little bit. One thing that I did notice, and I was kind of, uh, I was kind of downplaying the sour vehicles, but if we go in here and maybe use this construction materials right in this example, one place that the sour vehicles are better is construction materials, the flatbed. So right now we're moving them with this Opal Blitz tarpaulin, and that's because the dump truck does not take construction materials. So this has a capacity of 12, whereas this flatbed, which moves construction materials specifically, has a capacity of 13 and a much higher loading speed. So this is actually like a great use for the construction materials vehicles. And I wonder, so they've got a pretty good stock, 42 on that platform to deliver right now. And how far out is the construction materials train? It's pretty far out, but that is moving a lot. So we've got a new tr uh, tram, it looks like. Oh, we've got the new, the next tier of cargo, uh, cargo rail. I'm not gonna start using these until we start getting uh, faster trains, like diesel primarily. Um, I'll keep using the current tier that we have, and then I'll probably go through off screen maybe, just cause it's kind of tedious going through all of these lines and switching them out. Let's see. 119, so it didn't overload the station, so we're probably good there. Anyway, let's get back to what we were going to do. We're going to add in another uh, passenger aircraft station. And the reason that we were taking a short break is because I am using so much money to flatten out all this land. And let's just get an idea. Oh, we actually got the bigger airfields. That's awesome, actually. So do we want to stick with a small one? I'll probably stick with a small one for now. Um, just until these air routes, like, until they demand a higher, um, higher capacity. And you can see when we put these, uh, whatever they are, Flying Scotsman's on this Chatham-Bodman route, it just killed the profitability. Same thing with the Chatham to Tetford route. Are we making enough money to afford that kind of a loss? Yeah, I think we are. I mean, we've only got... We've got a couple lines that are hemorrhaging money. The market to Droitwich rail line is an interesting one. I think that that one just honestly needs higher frequency on the line. Could we fit a fourth train onto this line? I'm going to say probably. So if we come onto this and we just get one more train. And I'll just go ahead and pause this train for a second to let them spread out a little bit. And now we could probably get some more trains on this line as well. We'll wait for now. But what was I doing? I was going to get a passenger airfield in. Where was it gonna be? Right here. Another thing that we could think about is a cargo airfield. Those make so much money. But if we go in here, passenger airfield. Just trying to think of how we wanna orient it. Maybe like that. And now we need to get a street in here, so we will use this road with bus routes. And now we need to get a passenger station in. And how many changeovers? So we're going to need one stop, we're going to need three stations for the passengers. Now we'll go in and we'll configure this so that we bring it out. Oh, 
Oh, we've actually got... So if you remember in the last episode, we saw that they have these new passenger... And this can actually be the full stop. That's really cool. I'm going to use those. So if I go in here and I delete that whole set... Now I put these in here. Like that. Is that its own stop? Like, can I... If I add a new line in here, does this have a station number three? Oh, it doesn't. I was hoping that that would be, like, its own stop. Which means I am going to have to go in here and delete these and add in another platform. Let's see. Provides capacity for 60 waiting passengers. I, something tells me we are not going to need that capacity anytime soon. If this goes anything like the last passenger station that we did. But now we're going to need to connect in up here. So how do we want to do that? Do we just want to reuse this road? Blow right through here? We could do that. So if I just pause this for a sec, and I broke something, probably a, a delivery line, and I get a road. Now if we want to connect in there, smooth this out a little bit. Come out straight for a little while. And maybe curve in like that. Smooth this out a little bit. And now I also want to come in here with this eraser tool and erase all this foliage around this airfield just to give a good, good landing area. And now we want to set up, we want to think about setting up a bus route. So if we get, we'll let this play again, just so that we can start earning some money back. And if we upgrade this street with bus lanes, and this, this city's kind of developing a little odd. So, maybe we want to come back down this street for a little circulator. If I kind of connect in like that. And now if we put in some bus stops, it'll come back into the city. So maybe we'll put stops like this. And now... So now if I do a new line, what is this line? Oh yeah, that's the line that we already established. Cool. So we will add a stop in. We're going to do a little loop around here. And this will be the bus route from Colchester to the airport. I'll stick with that yellow. We are going to need a depot. There's one right here. So if we put maybe six of these, it's a pretty long, it's a pretty long line, complete honesty. So we'll just go ahead and add those on and that will move people down here. And now we want to carry this on over here. So if I maybe Delete this whole road. I wish you could delete in bigger chunks, but... But that's okay. So if I take this now... Why is construction not possible? Because I missed a chunk of road.
So let's just see. I'm going to clean this whole thing. So if I take this... Punch across that, maintaining that waterway. And I actually want this to be non-buildable. Try and follow that old path. And we'll just connect this back in here, just so that they don't get angry. Now, if I just come in here and smooth that out. We just connect in like that. Smooth that out a little bit. And now I already have a bus stop here. So why don't I reuse the stop? So I'll add a stop here. And then we'll come up here to station two. This will be the bus route from low to the airport. And why don't we make this uh, dark blue color? And if we go in here, we're using the second stop there, and what's it gonna do here? That is perfect. So now we're just going to need to get some buses on this route. So why don't I get maybe five? And we will put those on that and now we will let it run. So if we go in here and just look at these lines real quick, we've got a couple lines that are, that's probably like, three million worth of loss right there. Maybe another quarter of a million, so three and a quarter loss. We're making up for that just fine with a lot of these other routes. So it's, it's not the end of the world. Another thing that this will do is this will serve as a good transfer to get between these two cities. Um, and we'll also be able to transfer between these because there's no, there's no good connection here right now. So if I come in here and just delete this out a little bit, build this straight out. And now I wonder if I could actually figure out how to do a little roundabout and actually make it look decent. I've actually heard that there's a roundabout mod, although that looks pretty good. If I, if I do say so myself, that does not look bad. And now we'll let it play again. And now we'll want some bus lanes on here, and this is gonna take us all the way up to the airport. I'm okay with this terrain. So we'll run it up and over. We're gonna have to smooth this out. To get this back down at a nice gentle slope. in there like so sorry about that so we were just uh, looping in South Hall which already has a bus stop in it so we'll come in here and we will add to this stop it's going to do that loop that's a pretty aggressive loop that I made that bus do it's okay though and we'll bring it in here. Maybe we'll make it a dark red. We want this to go to platform three. And this will be our bus route from South Hall to the airport. And now we want to get some buses on this route. So I'll probably go ahead and add a vehicle depot down here. This looks like a pretty industrial area, so I'll just sneak it in right here. Like that. And we'll get maybe six buses on this route. What did I say? This is a dark red. 
And while we're at it, I'll probably just go through, get the one with trees so that they can build on it. And I'll upgrade this road right through there. Now, yep, we've got buses on there. We've already got people using these buses because, again, this is going to be a transfer point between the cities. So we honestly might see a decent number of people using this bus. Uh, 13 are on this one. 10 are on this one. Yeah, I mean, that'll probably supplement those bus routes decently well. This will probably be a good spot for a roundabout in the future. But now we need to get a passenger uh, airline set up between these two airports. They're doing a cross in the air, which is kind of interesting. I don't necessarily know why. If I go in here, can I configure? I can't configure the landing on this. Um, that's fine. I mean, it's not a problem. But if I go in here and just edit this, so this is going to be a plane line from low to Tetford tax. Now let's see what we can get for aircraft. So passenger aircraft, we've got these huge Douglases. Uh, probably not necessary. Why don't we go with these again? So I'll get one of these. I think I made it like this blue color. Pause real quick so that we can get another aircraft on this line. Now we'll go ahead and we'll move some passengers and I'm sure these lines will once again hemorrhage money. Uh, we're really just not moving passengers on these lines. What if I swapped these out for these new buses and maybe increase the frequency a little bit? Where's the other line? This one. New buses. Increase the frequency. See if that helps. We got the new Lockheed aircraft. I'll be really interested to see if this works at all. Although we are getting pretty good traffic on these bus lines for people just switching between the cities. So that's okay. I'll take that. And hopefully these passenger aircraft lines will pick up a little bit just because there's really no good you know connection for these guys to get anywhere down here we've actually got people waiting at the airport which is cool four people on that plane so it looks like we're done with the private plane days which is nice um oh and i knew i knew 100 percent i would forget to unpause these that's fine at least they're spread out now i guess Got a ton of logs on this line. So I might get another ship on that line. How are these doing? What's this moving? Ton of planks. So I'll go ahead and get one more ship on that line as well. They're pretty spaced out now. This guy's going the opposite direction with his tools. No, go the other way. gonna go where's he gonna go there we go he took his tools the wrong way and these guys are now operating pretty well is this guy taking planks he is cool so this is working we actually have a passenger we have one whole passenger that wants to go down on the uh, on the plane that's actually pretty exciting I like that these buses are running with full capacity. Wow. 
It's actually crazy. How many, how many people are in here? 21 want to go up to the airport. Uh, a bunch of people want to go because that's a little circulator. No one from South Hall. That's okay because there's actually a lot of people already on the buses. So why don't I go in here? This one could probably have a couple more. I might, I might give them all like two more. Yeah, why not? One person, so now we got private planes again. Private planes for the win. Two people waiting here to take the plane. Four on that one. None coming back. Kind of scared to look at how much money these are losing. Yeah, so I mean, our two air routes are losing us the most money. Consistently. These two passenger rails. Why? I mean, this one's got a ton of people on it, so... I don't know, there's just so much fluctuation at any given time that it's kind of hard to judge. Because, like, this one just jumped from one of our losers to making us a ton of money. So, I think it's just minute by minute. All I know is that we are making a ton of money overall. This train's coming up here with a full load of construction materials, which is good because these guys are waiting. So they're, they're able to clear it on its full run. How's this guy doing on the stone? He just cleared a full length of stone. So that's good. All right, guys. This is probably going to bring this episode to a close. We got a lot done. Uh, we, we refined some of our lines. Um, we got some new vehicles, some new rail cars that I'm excited to use probably in the next episode. We set up another uh, plane line which actually, amazingly enough, is performing just as well as the other one that's been running for a while, which I find really interesting. But we're probably going to uh, do what we did the last time that we installed the plane, and I'll, I'll leave you guys on a, a full run of this plane line. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good day. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.